Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you're new around here, my name is Sarah. I resell new and used clothes on a couple of different platforms such as Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Now, I actually work also full-time as an assistant principal, so I do not have hardly any time to focus on reselling and YouTube as well. So I kind of need a little mini me to get things going. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I love experimenting with different sources and different processes. And something that I've been experimenting with a lot lately is a service called Prime Lister. Now, Prime Lister kind of basically is your mini me. It does all your sharing on Poshmark for you. It does relisting, it does cross listing. It kind of manages everything, sends offers to likers, does everything that you would want to do in real time, but it's not you actually doing it. So as you th saw in my thumbnail, I kind of had, you know, me at work and then me as a reseller. Me at work is when I'm at work and me at the reseller is at the exact same time, only it's not me and those processes are still getting done. I am still making money with it. I have just about a thousand listings in my Poshmark closet and I most definitely cannot be managing that during work. I have a very hands-on job and I basically can't touch my phone or my computer for personal reasons at all during the work day. So I've been using Prime Lister for about a month now and I will say I've definitely made sales from using it alone. The relisting feature that allows you to relist on Poshmark for less than 60 days, whereas if you relist in Poshmark alone, you have to wait the full 60 days in order to be just in, is something that has really helped me out. So when Prime Lister reached out to me to see if they wanted to work together with me, I said, absolutely. I will definitely, you know, keep my little notes going and let you know how it works out. I do want to take this time to kind of show you the process of setting up and get going on Prime Lister though. Getting started on Prime Lister is actually really easy. The first thing you do, of course, is go to primelister.com. From there, it'll take you to this landing page here. If you see it gives you you know a little bit of information of course it goes through relisting and delisting your items of course also sharing your Poshmark closet which I know is a huge thing you notice there's a video that kind of walks you through a couple of different things if you keep going down and down and down it'll give you a little bit more information this company is actually really helpful in making sure that you have all the information to get started but their products they have kind of two different things they have a cross listing service and then a poshmark automation service so they are split into two different options depending on your needs of course i recommend both of them but of course, you're looking into starting your free trial, so you are going to go ahead and put in your name, all of your information, that's not the email for this, so I am going to change that email to make it the correct one. And we're gonna head, go ahead and click get started for free. Make sure that your password's in there. Mine, of course, is already in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. It is going to tell me this already exists, so I'm actually going to switch to log in, but if your first time is going to be just signing up. Now, once you do get in, you will see that, again, Prime Lister is very careful of making sure that you have all of your information. So on this left-hand side, you have these action steps that we will go over throughout this video. The first one is, of course, create your Prime Lister account. But if you have, if you are already seeing this page, it means you already have your account. The next one is install Prime Lister extension. Now remember, it is a Chrome extension that you put onto your computer. I was working from my work computer before because you know I'm a full-time assistant principal and I found out that my Chrome extensions were actually blocked. So I had to get my own personal computer, which actually probably should have to begin with, but just something to keep in check just in case you are working off of a work computer. 
Anyways, you're going to go ahead and install the Prime Lister extension. Of course, that'll take you to a next page that looks like this. From here, you're going to go ahead and select Add to Chrome. You want to add the extension. I promise you everything is all good with it. I've had it for a while. I've had other extensions. It's been perfectly fine. If you see, it'll walk you through and it'll automatically load. Now mine may have went a little bit quicker because I have had previously installed it. I just uninstalled it to show you what it looks like, but essentially you click that button and it walks you through automatically. From here, the way that you're gonna be able to see it is this little puzzle piece here. As you can see, it's kind of walking you through. This little puzzle piece, if you click on it, you can then find this Prime Lister little icon. The PL is what you are looking for. And within this, now this is going to be walking us through all of the different platforms that Prime Lister it has access to. So if you see, we have Poshmark in a couple of different countries, Macari, Facebook, that's Facebook Marketplace, eBay, again, different countries, Etsy, Depop, Instagram, Grailed, and Tradesy. Now, I will tell you that I, right now, I'm only on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. I do have Kitizen, which also reaches to Facebook Marketplace. So I don't list specifically to Facebook mar Marketplace. But I'm hoping that Kit is in soon is going to be in this platform because that'll make it so much easier to cross list. Right now, I just do it manually. Now we're back on kind of that first landing page. And if you see the next piece of information, the next action that you have to take to get all set up is to connect the marketplace to your Prime Lister account. Now to do that, you are actually going to go back to the Prime Lister icon that I was just speaking about and all the list of all the different marketplaces. You're going to just, you know, go by one by one, whichever marketplace that you are currently on. I'm going to start with Poshmark. It's, I'm just going to click open Poshmark. does its little bit of magic there. If you saw something popped up super quick, it said, congratulations, you have successfully installed Prime Lister. Prime Lister is open and closes with the blue button in the right corner of your screen. So it walks you through step by step by step. You can click, you know, show me, and then it'll show you all the different little functions here. It is very user friendly. Within this, of course, it's all the different functions that are available on Poshmark alone. So that is Poshmark. We'll go a little bit more into detail of what those cross-listing things look like, but I just want to see you, show you what it looks like for each individual platform just logging in. So if we go over again to that extension, let's go ahead and open up Mercari. Again, it successfully installed. We're gonna click show me, click here to open the options. It walks you through very step-by-step. Step. So if you are somebody who is not necessarily technology inclined, uh, kind of like myself, to be honest, these step-by-step -step actions are so helpful. You can ask it to go back or if you don't want it to show you again, Again, on this kind of right-hand side, it shows the arrow within the platform. You don't have to go in and out anything crazy. It'll always show, and it'll show you these specific actions that are available on Mercari. And again, we can go back to that. We can now open eBay. And again, that little arrow on the right-hand side, you just open it up and it shows you all the different options available on eBay. So if you notice each time with each platform, what was available was slightly different because obviously each platform has their own kind of way of doing different things. And Prime Lister is very intuitive in making sure that the functions within Prime Lister are helpful to that specific platform. 
The next action step that Prime Lister has you doing is to check and set up the Poshmark share bot. Now, obviously, this is a huge selling point for all kinds of services such like this. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go over to a Poshmark. And of course, we are going to have the same little icon here or a little arrow that we're just going to click and pull out. And again, we're going into the two different options. So we are going into the Poshmark Assistant option here where we are going to go ahead and hit share. You can select from your closet. It'll pull your active listings only. You can also click current page if you want to share somebody else's closet or if you want to, you know, search a specific thing such as sometimes I just search up like dress. If I want to share a whole bunch of other listings from other people, you can certainly do that as well. You can do all listings, just the first page. If you want to select particular listings, such as if it is a Poshmark party and you want to only select items that are relevant to that party. And again, you can focus on your followers, which means pretty much means sharing in general, or you can focus on sharing to that particular party. Now I will say in general, I really haven't made any sales by sharing to a party. So I don't really focus on that option. I always just share to followers and I always share all of my listings unless I'm trying to organize or do something kind of crazy in my closet or different in my closet. It does allow you to select the sharing speed. I typically keep it at medium. The reason why I don't go to fast is because Poshmark will, you know, flag your account because technically we're not supposed to be using this, but you know, they don't really ever say anything about it. So I just keep it on medium just to play it safe. You can share just a limited number of items if you are approaching your sharing limit. You can share continuously, which a lot of times I typically do. I have it set to five laps. So it'll just share five times in a row with a little bit of time in between again so that we don't get caught on that, you know, trouble with Poshmark there. You can select if you want to share listings from bottom to top in reverse order so that all of your items stay in the exact same order there. And then you just go ahead and click share listings. All the listing is in your closet will be shared. Do you want to share, start the sharing process? Of course, we're going to click yes, but I do want to quickly show you the scheduled task. So you can say that you want it a particular time every single day. So you just leave your computer open. You don't even have to set it at all. You just say every day at 6.15, I want to make sure that I go ahead and share my closet. I wouldn't even have to put any thought into it at all. It says new tasks were scheduled. We are good to go. A minute from now, my computer will start going off and sharing my listing. I want to show you the screen that pops up when the items go ahead and start sharing. So you can see the total number of items that are processed so far. You can see the total captures that have been solved. And that, you know how you, different programs ask you if you are a person or a robot and you have to click like all the bridges in the picture? Well, Prime Lister automatically does that for you. So it can just, you know, keep doing its job. I've never had any issues with it having, you know, issues not being able to do that. I will show you next. You can actually cross list from the platform itself. So that import is there if you want your inventory all managed in one spot. Also, you can just go ahead and Oh, again, you need a reminder. You need to click at least one. For example, you can click cross list right away and then all of the different platforms pop up. I am just going to go ahead with my example here. I'm going to select Mercari and eBay. 
and show you what that looks like here. Yes, I would like to continue with that one item. Cross listing over, notice that these other screens are popping up. That is the system automatically populating this piece or this item of inventory into the other platforms. And it brings up, you know, eBay just as is. It gives you all of the keywords that I already had populated. It gives me the custom SKU that I already put in because I do have my inventory pretty organized. It allows me to select the condition, carries over my photos. It allows you to put in the brand. Now this brand is not the accurate brand, so I would need to go ahead and switch that up, but it is a lot easier than having to manually do all of this. My size type, it is regular, it's pretty clickable. Size 10, you know, I just, you know, click things around. It makes it pretty easy on here. It allows me to select the material, sleeve length, everything that you can do within eBay. It pretty much is an eBay picture. In fact, it is specifically eBay. It allows me to you know, adjust pricing as I want to and all of that. And of course, it allows me to have a discount if buyers want to buy more than one item. Now, other cross-listing services that I've used in the past had very basic. It was basically the title and description, and that's pretty much it. And then I had to go into eBay to make those adjustments. So it was kind of a two-step process. So that's what it looks on eBay. On Mercari, again, it pulls up Mercari and all of the information here. The final piece in this onboarding is completing the onboarding, or you did complete the onboarding and you're gonna go ahead and get a 10% discount. However, instead you were gonna sneak down to my description and grab the 30% discount coupon. So now we completed all of the onboarding, the action sex for Prime Lister, but I wanna show you a couple of things that really sold me when I first got started, um, specifically to Poshmark. Now, if we click on the listings action side of Prime Lister, I'm gonna take us to the relist option. And with this, we can again select all listings, first page only, and so forth, just like the sharing. We can choose if we want to update the price when we go ahead and relist. It'll automatically relist all of these items. You can, you know, click all these different filters and it will go ahead and completely relist your items. Now, you know when you can kind of make a copy of your listing if you do it manually, you have to wait the 60 days. With Prime Lister, it makes a completely new listing. So the benefit with this actually is that you can kind of relist as much as you possibly want to. I'm gonna walk through this first example as I'm talking here. But you can do this as, as much as you want. Like I relisted this item yesterday. I am completely relisting it now when you just show up and it, it does it for you. I recently went on a long weekend and I completely relisted my entire closet as I was on that long weekend. So I came back to a whole bunch of sales because all of my items were nice and fresh. And you see, this is what you see as it's processing all of the items through so that you know it is working out. They're all queued up and they are going to go ahead and be processed soon. And I can still click back to other pages and it'll, you know, keep doing its thing. But on the Macari side, of course, we're going back to that little arrow. We are going to go ahead and select an item, but then we're going to select the relist option. Yes, I want to go ahead and relist now. It'll queue everything up and it'll relist just the same. This is very important with Mercari because there isn't like an easy way that I found to create new listings or bring them up to the top other than promoting them. 
and you know it makes it a lot easier on Mercari when those old like see I have 10 there's probably 20 pages of different things and all the stuff has not been relisted or brought up to the top so I've been making a lot more sales on Mercari now that I have focused on this relist option here Last thing I want to show you is overhead on Poshmark. We were in the listing actions side of things. Now I want to go to the Poshmark assistant side of things. I want to go to automations. And this is where we are going to auto send offers to likers. Now I had it turned off because it was closet clear out yesterday. And I was just going ahead and sending those offers manually as I was going through Closet Clear Off, but you can select how much time you want to delay between when somebody likes an item and when you send an offer, how much percentage you want off, the shipping as well. So there's a lot of different options here that you can kind of play around with. The good thing with Prime Lister is there's so many different filters that you can really set it to be exactly what you want it to be. And I think that's kind of what I like about it. I use some of the options sometimes and other options I, you know, use every single day. As you can see, Prime Lister is very intuitive, very user friendly. So if you want to go ahead and try it out, of course, go ahead and use my link in the description below. It allows you to get that 30% off after your 14 day trial. I always encourage people to try the trial first, just in case it doesn't quite match with you, but I don't see why it would not. It has definitely made money. I would not be making this video otherwise. Even though it is sponsored by Prime Lister, thank you Prime Lister, by the way, I have been contacted by other companies that had wanted to partner together and it just wasn't a good match. So I would not be making this video right now if I didn't think it was something that would help you in your reselling, make your life easier and make money at the same time. Now, if you are interested in following my sales that come from Prime Lister, I will try to mention in my what sold videos if they sold as a result of a function of Prime Lister, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. That allows my videos to continue to show up on your homepage and the homepage of others, and of course allows us to continue to learn and grow together.